Greetings, adventurers. We are here today in the Bethel Park Historical Society, which is actually built in an old schoolhouse. So check this out. This is like an old classroom. You've got your letters so you can learn how to write and check out the old restored wood and fans. This place is like nearly original and they, the Bethel Park Historical Society really did a great job on this building. So it houses not only the, a little museum, but it also has my favorite coffee shop built right into it called Reginald's Coffee. And I ordered a coffee already, so after we're done touring this facility, we'll pick up our coffee and then we'll head outside so you can see the exterior of the building. Here is a general map showing the original pioneers of Bethel Park. You can see uh, there's Snowden Township bordering it and Scott Township over there. Let's see what else we can find. This is the coffee shop. We'll go in there in a little bit. Looks like the old school bell and someone forgot their glasses. This here looks like an old theater seat. I'm not sure what school buildings these are affiliated with, but um, this was the elementary school. Really cool artwork in here and many displays. I highly recommend visiting. Uh, there is no fee to come in, but of course donations are always welcome. You could spend a lot of time in here looking at all these various artifacts. So this must be the next grade up because they're learning cursive. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now we learn our ABCs. Here are some cool antique radios. Some black powder cake. These look like lunch boxes. I'm, I'm assuming this is a uh, area that is um, talking about the coal mining heritage of this area. There is a huge chunk of coal. Those look like miners' lamps, uh, miners' lunch boxes. There's the donation box if you wish to donate. And it looks like they're collecting money to um, purchase bricks to help restore the building. Here's an old school desk here. Another school desk and more artifacts from the mining heritage days. Bethel Park is located in the South Hills of Pittsburgh, in the suburbs near South Park, which is just a mile, or probably less than a mile, half a mile down the road. So, this is what the exterior looks like. We'll see that outside in a moment. I didn't know there was a dance studio here, and it looks like this room is probably off limits for right now. They have the door closed. And, there's another room that I noticed the door was closed. I'm not sure if it's locked or not, but it's the Veterans Monument. And this was open the last time I was here. Maybe somebody just, yeah, I think the door probably just blew closed. But this, this is the military heritage and uh, veterans artifacts in here. I can see a Vietnam boonie cap. Here we have some military payment certificates for submariners. This is a military payment certificate. U.S. Navy silverware. Aircraft recognition playing cards. I actually have a bunch of those types of cards in my personal collection, so maybe I will show you those. But when you're playing cards during your free time in the military, you can also be learning about aircraft, vehicles, foreign languages, 
insects, snakes, uh, all kinds of things. So maybe I'll do a video on my collection of military playing cards someday if it's a rainy day or something. So I'll keep that in mind for the future. This is an ocarina, an instrument that you could easily carry in your backpack off to war and maybe when the firing took, they took a break from firing, they could uh, sit around and play a little music. So this is really cool. I, I think they did an excellent job on this entire building in these museums. And like I said, you could spend many hours here looking at all the stuff and reading the books. That is a cool original painting. I do believe that is a Sherman tank. This here is a CIB, Combat Infantryman's Badge. Some other medals. I'm guessing these are from, I'm going to guess Vietnam, although I don't know for sure. Could be World War II, Korea. There is an old steel pot. This looks like an officer's cap. There's another steel pot. Some weapons. Very cool, very cool. Those look like some Vietnam sandals. There's an old World War II veteran license plate and some cool mail. Oh, there's some ration books. I actually have a collection of ration books at home that maybe I will also feature someday. Now this looks like the Bethel Park room. Here's a lot of uh, Bethel Park memorabilia. Bethel Park Police Department. Various photos and artwork. Here's looks like the old original McDonald's of Bethel Park. So yeah, I highly recommend this place if you're in the Pittsburgh area. Doesn't cost anything to get in. Check it out and have a coffee because they make some of the best coffee in the South Hills. Like I said, it's my favorite coffee shop in the world right now. The owners, Matt and Julie, do a great job. So it's called Reginald's Coffee. And we'll go out the front door after we pick up our coffee. Looks like she's working on mine right now. So in the meantime, I see Matt's over here roasting some beans. Hello. How's it going? It's going good. What are you roasting today? Uh, we are roasting on the batch of the uh, schoolhouse blend. Schoolhouse blend? Yep. That's, um, they, they buy fresh organic green beans, right? Yeah, some of our beans are organic. We, okay. Uh, we can't call them organic, but uh, because our roast They were grown organically, right? And once you roast them, unless you get your machine certified, you can't call it organic. Right, yeah, we have to have a separate machine. Right. Not to mention you have to pay expensive expenses to be certified. And for a small coffee shop like this, if they're using organic beans, you know you're getting the good stuff. You just you don't need to have an organic certification. No, you're welcome. And check this out. This is a real coffee plant growing. And good things here. There's the menu. Looks like my coffee's ready. Thanks, Julie. All right, we'll see you next time. You do the same. I ordered a coffee mocha in my own cup. Check out the cool artwork. Reginald's Coffee is named after a dog. And uh, I believe it's the owner's dog. So that's why they have the dog artwork. Here is the name. They're open and you can see their hours. So let's go look around the front of the schoolhouse. Check out this cool trolley. In Pittsburgh, back in the 50s and 60s and ending in the 70s when I was a child, they used these streetcars as, as public transportation. Now they use buses. They had buses back then too, but these were more prominent, especially in the suburbs where they had trolley tracks. And um, we, Pittsburgh still has a subway system called the T, which is the uh, Port Authority Transit. 
and um, the subway goes through downtown Pittsburgh and then there's a few branches and one comes out here to the South Hills it's called the uh, South Hills Village Branch and then there's also the Library Branch so there are still some some trains but they don't look like this anymore the, these are the old style so I like it when they have one on display here and one one of these days soon I'm going to go down to the trolley museum and I'll do a video down there where they actually have them restored and you can ride on one so we have the schoolhouse art center Reginald's coffee and I just wanted to show you the exterior of the building and I can see from here that this is a registered historic landmark so let's go check out that sign and then we'll probably say goodbye for today Bethel Park no Bethel I can't read it's Bethel something something school so I, I can't tell what that is check out this that is some cool attention to detail when you have art, artwork like this on a building. They don't make them like they used to, I can tell you that. This is a historic landmark, originally Bethel Township High School, built in 1905 with an addition in 1917. So, there's our answer. Reporting live from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, Farmer Troy signing off. So, a cafe mocha. Cheers to you. Thanks for following. And if you like what you see here, we'll be uploading new content. We do one or two a day until I get tired of uh, doing this. And uh, maybe I'll slow down eventually, but I'm having a blast doing it now. So please subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. It will help my channel to get monetized. So hit the subscribe button. Click like if you liked what you heard, saw here. And it lets me know that you care and that I'll keep making more. If I get more likes and more subscriptions, I will keep doing this. So thanks again. Peace to you. And we're open for business. Goodbye.